Welcome back to the Red Carpet Ria, where we break down all the hottest drama from the music industry. Today, we're diving into some serious tea spilling courtesy of Lil Yachty. Yes, folks, the captain of the boat himself has completely flipped out at Rapper Caribou, and it's giving messy breakup music industry edition. So buckle up because this one's a roller coaster. But before we dive in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content straight from the Red Carpet Ria. All right, let's start with the backstory. Little Yachty and rising rapper Caribou were once tight, like really tight. Yachty even helped put her on the map. But last month, Yachty announced on Instagram that they had parted ways. He kept it pretty civil at first, saying he had nothing bad to say about Kara and wishing her the best. Very mature, right? Well, that didn't last long. Fast forward to this week and Yachty was on Instagram Live ranting like there was no tomorrow. He accused Caribou of everything from being verbally abusive to his bodyguard and get this, claiming that he wrote all of her raps, including her viral on the radar freestyle. Yachty went off, saying, and I quote, I'm so sick of helping people. I'm so sick and tired of helping people, bro. All I done ever did was help people, nigga. From goddamn, this whole care shit to this Mitch situation online, what y'all talking about some? Uh, Lil Yachty disrespecting his friend. I'm gonna start with care, right? Cause right now I'm on some fuck everybody type shit. Yeah. Nigga, fuck it with me. Uh, nigga, all I ever did was help care, nigga, care. If you want to tell this shit, tell the whole story. Go ahead, tell people how you verbally abuse people. All right? Don't get on here and make it seem like niggas kicked you out. Like niggas kicked you out because, uh, bullying you? Bro, go ahead, tell people how you talk to people. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home, oh, you work for me. Oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor. And, uh, we above you and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they're like they small. Like, oh, you just such a good girl, bro. Stop the front, bro. We didn't internally we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career. What are we talking about, bro? What the fuck are we even talking about, bro? You don't even do nothing. You just, what the fuck, yo, bro? It's so crazy to me, bro. Cause I fucking I I I've given you a career. And time and time, you just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I, I dressed, I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. Eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I put three chains on all y'all neck. We Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, you the most, dis you, you was watching tables. You was, you was, you was, you was waiting. What are we talking about, nigga? It's your motherfucker. This is the problem with you new artists. Y'all fucking, y'all get popping online. And then you become more popular than your actual music. Right? You $900,000 in a hole and I got every fucking receipt, nigga. $900,000 in a hole. I got every fucking receipt, nigga, and I'm going to post it. Hey, you try me. Try me, I'm going to post it, nigga. And I'll post how much money your fucking streams are made. You got, bro, stop, don't, don't go on the internet and act like I'm bullying you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and, and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know who the fuck Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What are we talking about, bro? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? I wrote that fucking verse when we went on On The Radar. I put you last on purpose so everyone would say, who the fuck is that girl? I the beat down. I put 808 specifically on your verse. So when it got to your part in the beat drop, you get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't gonna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say that I'll bully you? Kara, I have never bullied you. I let you live in my house for free. You lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. I let you live in my house for free. I let you live in my house for motherfucking free when you was disrespecting my home security and telling them that they they beneath you and that they better shut the fuck up and watch this house because they work for you when they work for me same way you talk to people at the label same way you talk to the torn person yadi didn't just make wild accusations he came with receipts he claimed that caribou talked down to his security saying oh you work for me you're poor and we above you like yikes but that's not all. Yachty also pulled out an iPhone voice note. Yes, a voice note as proof that he wrote her verse for the Concrete Boy Cypher. Is that a nigga that I trust and knock off the dust. Why would I 
sack under my arm, stacking up a must. I crush the perk into the tusk to geeked up the fuss. Be like a boss, I'm not like them, they doing such and such. I was selling lemonade while y'all with double dutch. I used to scam, I used to trap, I never cuddled much. I to the am, I stretch my plans, I never settled much. I slipped on Pimpin once. You asked for how I brought them wine and you ain't flippin' once. Got all them guns, put in your name and you ain't grippin' once. You sent them money for some pints, but I ain't shipped not one. It's caribou, I'm not the two, you gotta know I'm up. I heard you been say you the one, I guess it never stuck. I'm stuck up, it's like the pimp, that's my mind. Look. We all love a good he said, she said, but when you bring voice notes to the table, things get real. Yachty even threatened to post all the receipts if she kept pushing. And you know, in this digital age, no one's safe when DMs and voice notes start leaking. But wait, there's more. Caribou also apparently accused Yachty of stealing money from her, and he wasn't having it. He clapped back saying she owes almost $1 million to his label. Yachty said, and I quote, you $900,000 in the hole and I got every receipt, nigga. I dare you to try me. Oof. It's a reality TV episode that just won't quit. According to Yachty, Caribou's streams haven't made enough money to steal in the first place. This whole situation escalated when rumors spread that Caribou had been bullied out of Yachty's Concrete Boys group. Caribou herself has been keeping it vague on social media, but trust me, the internet is watching her every move. So where does this leave us? Well, it looks like Yachty and Caribou are officially done and not in the most peaceful way. Yachty's clearly over it, and Caribou is hinting that there's more to come. Will this drama keep unfolding, or is this the end of the road? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, it's messy, and we'll be here to keep you updated on all the twists and turns. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning into the Red Carpet Re-Up. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more exclusive content. We've got more drama coming your way, so stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.